pressure. Well, in this topic, it's related, it's related to pressure and fluid. Well, pressure is the force that you exert over an area. And fluid, in this case water, are... Excuse me. Go ahead, go ahead. Are... Es que no puedo, me... Dale, Iván, cámbiale. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Particles. Are particles that easily flow. Ok. But also is related to Pascal's principle. The Pascal's principle is the rule that when you exert force in a confined fluid, the force is exerted equally in all parts of the fluid. Well, a system. A system is an arrangement of mechanical, electrical, or electric parts functioning as a unit. We have two types of systems, the pneumatic system and the hydraulic system. The pneumatic system is the one, is the one that uses air. Here we can see that air cannot be Air can be compressed, and and the hydraulic system is the one that uses water. The the other hand, any hydraulic system is very easy. For the reason one point is transmitted to another point. Here we can see what water can cannot be compressed. I, uh, Cannot be compressed. Uh, cannot be compressed. The difference between each other is that the pneumatic is the same and the hydraulic is the water. This is the process in which all the systems work. Very simple, then output and then feedback. Input is a power into system. Output is a is is a, is a product and feedback is a is a process again no is a process in which is a process <laughs> it is again the process. So in the end, our system we use two hydraulic, hydraulic circuits and pneumatic circuits. The hydraulic circuit consists of a hydraulic cylinder, a receiver, a, receiver, a filter, a pump, and a control valve. The hydraulic cylinder, the way that in non directional forces give non directional fluid to all the system. The receiver is the one that carries the, the, the receiver is the one that carries the fluid. The filter is the one that uh, saves the control valve. The pump is the one that gives the fluid to all the, the all the system, and the control valve is the one that regulates the flows of a fluid. Uh, the schematics of hydraulic circuits. Pneumatic circuit consists of a reservoir. Uh, Shuttle valve, a regulator, and a linear linear equator. The receiver, as the hydraulic circuit, carries the, all the fluids. The shuttle valve regulates the flows of a fluid. The regulator is the one that allows the system to 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 to, to decrease the the fluids. And the linear linear equator is the one that makes all the system works. So it's the most important. And this is an example of pneumatic circuits, the schematics. This is our brainstorming. As you can see, there are four main branches. Transportation, medicine, construction, and commerce. In commerce, there are these other Coca-Cola machines that are, that are electrical vending machines. Uh, we decided to go with, with the vending machine because it's very interesting, and we wanted to show you how it works. Uh, the purpose of this machine is to dispense single-serving containers for personal consumption. The main parts of this machine is the air pump, air pump the double acting cylinder, the hoses, the syringes, the box, and the products for sale. Well, you, well this is our drawings, our schematics. Well, our first idea was to do the, our machine in a vertical way with the floors. And, we, and to put a hydraulic, a hydraulic pump. But we change idea. Uh, we do the machine in a vertical way. This is a structure, uh, well, the products. Uh, it consists in two systems, um, pneumatic and hydraulic system. The pneumatic system consists in an air pump in a double acting cylinder. The double acting cylinder is the one that moves in two directions, back and forth, um, and uses air. And this one is a single, this system, the hydraulic system, works 
with two single acting cylinder that moves only in one direction, connected with a hose. Um, well, this this the this pneumatic system is in here with symbols. Uh, well, uh, we do some calculation to calculate the mechanical advantage. Well, uh, the mechanical advantage is the number of times that the machine increases the work. We calculate that this the mechanical advantage by dividing the the area of the air pump and the area of the double acting cylinder, and the result was 0.062. Well, we can we are showing you how the machine works. We are pumping the double acting cylinder with this direction directional box. And we put we push this single acting cylinder and it goes down. Excellent. Uh, well this is our uh, robot. robotics work. Well, this is how we, 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 we,